Hey there everybody, Richie D here, celebrating the day that uh, virtual reality goes mainstream. For anybody that owns a uh, Galaxy Note 5, S6 Edge Plus, S6 and S6 Edge, they now have the ability to be able to buy uh, the consumer version of the Gear VR. So we're going to take a look at what's in this box. Alright, so let's get this puppy open and see what we have inside. As you can see here, it's quite different to the original box that the uh, developer edition uh, had in it, which included a quite a premium carry case as well. What we have here is the headset itself. If we go around it, we can see here uh, the familiar markings now for those that have used one before, a Gear VR powered by Oculus, of course. On the other side, we have uh, the now familiar control panel, but it's been enhanced with these little dimples for even easier control uh, for games. Uh, the back button still remains at the top here as well. Looking inside, you can see here that the sensors move slightly. Now the sensor is on the uh, center between the eyes. This sensor allows the Gear VR to know uh, when someone's actually using it or not. Now the feeling of the padding around the headset is actually very, very nice as well. Um, it's wider definitely wider than the original developer edition, which I've been using on the Note 4. Um, the reason they've done that is so that you can actually use glasses with this particular one, which is, which is great. And uh, over here, we've got the dial, which enables uh, people to be able to zoom or move the uh, phone uh, outward from the, uh, from the lens, and that will help a, a vast majority of people to be able to use uh, this particular device. It moves quite far out. I actually, for my eyes, um, and I don't use glasses, but I find that the furthest distance of the screen from the lens is where I can actually see it uh, the clearest. So let's see how we put this all together. Uh, we've got here, obviously, some uh, literature. Uh, a lot of this is to do with the fact that you know, uh, children under 13 shouldn't be using it, um, and other occupational health and safety uh, details there. We've got two straps. Now, these are quite different to the straps that we saw with the original uh, Gear VR. And we'll show you that in another video, and we'll do a, a big comparison, including the weight. Um, but I haven't actually put these, one of these together yet, so let's do that now. So we've got the device here. You can see the, uh, the lens area is protected uh, by, this, by this screen. It actually goes back to the original version, which uh, the Note 4 used. Uh, they changed it. Um, when they had the S6 Innovator, Innovator Edition, we're back to that sort of protective panel there. So the first thing to look at is the strap that goes around the head. So let's just uh, take this off. We should be able to uh, take this off reasonably easily. There we go. All right, so what we do here is obviously put this through here and put in the plate. Move this over here. Now, hopefully, you can see this. Yep, and put this into place. Now, you've got pretty much your headset, which, as you can see, has a fair bit of stretch as well. So, if you were to put that onto your head, you don't necessarily need to use uh, the overhead strap. Now, I actually thought that overhead strap was quite good, really, just for stability um, and not having it potentially slip down your face. Now, the thing about this one is because it is wider to enable people with glasses to use it, there probably is more potential of that. You can see here the nose area, which uh, you know, is being made for the, um, for the nose bridge to, to sit there and hopefully hold it up, um, in addition to you know, tightening and securing uh, this strap as well. You can see that's quite some good give there. Um, but let's get this one open as well. Um, there we go. I guess, so yeah, so what we would do is, um, this, this part here hooks into this area. Should be reasonable. Oh, actually, we'll do it the other way. That's my mistake, my bad. I'm all sweaty and nervous because I'm so happy to have my version of this. There we go. That fits there. And then this part here will fit very nicely into here. There we go. There we have it. So there you go. This is pretty much it. That forms uh, what you need for the Gear VR to work. Now, of course, the most important part of all this, of course, is the phone. So I've got here an S6, the uh, version that doesn't have an edge. Uh, it's flat. And the way this goes in is very, very simple. It's simply 
just fits inside here using uh, the mini USB connector. And it should, yep, there we go. And you can hear that actually working, that now familiar sound. This comes up and then it's locked in place. And that's it. Uh, there's also, um, I'll just show you up close, there's a little USB charger as well to keep it charging. So right now, we should be able to see something happening here. Here we go. Mm, not sure if I can show you this, but I'll have a look inside there. Something's going on. Yep, adjust your focus. There we go. What it's asking me to do is adjust my focus until everything is clear. I'm not sure if you can see that. No, unfortunately not. But we'll do some um, we'll do some uh, real time stuff as well later on. But basically, it's just asking me to go through the setup mode. So that's really it. Obviously, this then can go over as a protective measure for the phone itself. And there you have it. That is the full uh, Gear VR mainstream consumer version ready to be used entertain and take you to places that you've never been before i definitely look forward to getting more videos done with the uh, consumer version of this so look out for more in the meantime have a great day and until next time